you know. When were you born? You're not going to like this. Oh, God. Yeah. No, don't say it. Yeah. My On 30th 9/11. birthday is... <laughs> <laughs> You're in cahoots with Corey and Carmen. In cahoots. What are you talking about? Oh, you got man. off the appointment or the phone with your, I'm assuming your pussy doctor. No. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, someone's castrated. This rips. <laughs> I just, what happened? I didn't think this news story was real. I was getting off the phone with my therapy because I can't do group therapy this Thursday. Oh, no. Because it's A, your birthday. And B, we're going to Connecticut. 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 Where all people want to go on their birthday. Yeah. Every single one of them. You're going to turn 30. You're going to ring in 30 in Burlington, Connecticut at a brewery at a show that might be bad. Might be the worst. Happy birthday (laughs) to you. See if you can get the saddest happy birthday song going during your set. Happy birthday Mm -hmm. to you. You sound like a nursing home in there. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm trying to think of something spectacular to do on stage that'll both embarrass you and (laughs) ring in the 30. I'm just going to walk home. (laughs) It's a three hour drive, but I I think I could walk home. (laughs) I'm going to find you on the side of the highway and pick you up in the rain. You know, if 10 years ago, I knew that most of comedy would just be traveling to Connecticut and back, Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would have started. Really? No, I'm kidding. But Connecticut really is a horrible state. Uh, Luna, it is not great. Parts of it are all right. It's all traffic. And Mm -hmm. once you get into northern Connecticut, fine. It's Mm -hmm. all relative. Mm -hmm. Like up by Yukon. I was like, all right, this is a normal oh, state. Yeah, it has UConn. Like New Haven. UConn really Hartford. comes out of nowhere like a magical village in Connecticut. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. All they do is win basketball games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's like corn, 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 and then it's like mm-hmm. the best basketball players in the country, and then more corn. Yeah. You're like, what? Yeah. One of my one of my friends that grew up in Connecticut was like, No, there's actually a lot of mining in Connecticut. I was like, What crypto mining? Like what the <laughs> yeah. fuck are you talking about? Mining of what? I didn't, uh, mining of minorities money <laughs> I don't I'm know to think of, all I can think of was like Karens and I was like god that sucks what a there's hacky a lot of Karens. so tired it's uh yeah yeah these, these jokes are gonna be real hack today the real bad <laughs> jokes today that's what the guest is for at least you can come in She'll and carry it for us. yell at us for being terrible comedians <laughs> oh my god wow um, yeah I'm turning 30 and mm-hmm. um I don't know. I don't think I feel any different. <laughs> Maybe there's a little bit of existential, like, oh Ooh. man, I'm running out of time for stuff. I can feel myself getting older. Okay, well, I'm ten years older than you, so yeah, I know. Anything you oh, feel you're way hurts past my feelings. Your Best Buy date. <gasps> <laughs> I feel like you meant that, and then no. as you were saying it, you were like, well, I committed to this, and I have to finish the sentence. No, I committed to it way before that. <laughs> what was the line? You had a line, you're not going to remember this. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> so tired. You said something, well, and I was like... Coots, <laughs> where we second guess all of our jokes and can't remember the other ones. You said something, and I was like, how long have you been holding that in? And you were like, a couple minutes, and then you are like like five minutes <laughs> <laughs> no i don't remember what it was but you remember that conversation <clears throat> every once in a while because i think of all this stuff and every once in a while you get a i get a line like the basketball line mm-hmm. where but i always have to do a, a oh you had a really good line that we can't say on here yeah it has to do with flint Mints. if you know you know good podcaster <laughs> <laughs> trust us we're funny when we're not in front of the microphone we can't say it, can we? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyway, this is sponsored by Flintsmiths. <laughs> Every time that I think of something funny, like a witty, snarky response, which is my go-to, mm-hmm. that's my wheelhouse. Mm-hmm. Is a snarky, well-timed response. You, you got to do more crowd work. 
I do do some crowd work when I'm hosting. Double hosting tomorrow night at Grizzly Pear. Um, we'll see if my <laughs> brain's working correctly. But double host. I have Ooh, to do fine. like a, I have to check. I'm like, what kind of mood is Carmen in? Is Carmen in a playful mood where this snarky thing? Because the last snarky thing I said, you just said, fuck you, and then spanked me. <laughs> Which I was like, all right, that was, see, she's in a good mood there. But yeah. if I say like the wrong thing, I'm like, you're past your Best Buy date, <laughs> and you're in a bad mood. <laughs> then that's when we have to talk about it later. <laughs> we've, we've never. <laughs> don't bring me into this. <laughs> Gary, don't buy those eggs. Sorry. They're all broken. I just want to keep <laughs> assuming keep that Carrie is caring. grocery shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you're. Yeah, we were trying to figure One of that these out. times it's going to be correct. Mm hmm. No, I'm here for you. Keep trying it. <laughs> I'm liking it. Yeah, I don't know. I saw a thing online that was like, oh, turning 30 is the best because you just, ex you, that's the age where you start to accept that you can't change everything. And you're just like, you know what? This is how I am. This is how I, I be and live my life and all that other stuff. And I was like, you're already there. Oh, uh, you know, I think maybe more than most people in their, some people in their 20s. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say most because mm -hmm. I do know some very mature 20 year olds <gasps> maybe you'll go backwards because you're like a mm. kind of like a 60 year old like i feel like maybe <laughs> you're gonna slowly recess with time you go clothes shopping with me one time and you already <laughs> believe i'm 60 years old your, unbelievable your essence in your soul is like 117 like a like a wizened tree in the wood that i go to for wisdom oh yeah sure yeah i'll take that yeah okay yeah no but i think to that that I think a good example of this is like, like if people are hanging out without me, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, in my twenties, mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. I'm fun. Why didn't I get an invite there? Mm -hmm. And then now in my thirties, I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm not fun. They can, they can huh. do this on their own. Well, I've never gotten past that and I'm 38. People hanging out without you? Yeah. Invite me. Well, yeah. I no, that's not true. Invite. I don't actually don't. Care. But also, like, you know, <laughs> I actually don't. Montana no, and Chris personal. were hanging out. I yeah. was like, yeah, or it was like this brunch. I was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Was, like, they can hang out without me. Yeah, I'm not gonna be offended by that. Sounds like you're offended by that. I'm pretty I'm fucking offended by that. <laughs> you're dead to me. <laughs> Even though I'll see you next week. <laughs> Are they coming to brunch on this Sunday? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, right. you got you got bro, broski. I know. And his wife is coming to town. Fiance, girlfriend. Oh. we're not sure. Oh, I thought not, they were married. Not married. Why no. did I think they were married? They've been dating forever. Oh, okay. No, but yeah, first time in New York. That'll mm -hmm. be fun. Really? We'll see, uh, yeah. Oh. They haven't come. Oh my god. They were trying to make money, and they wow. like. That's also what I'm comparing myself to. Is like. My friends from high school, like half, most of them own houses. Mm -hmm. And then even my younger brother owns a house. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here staying out till one thirty in the morning doing God knows what. <laughs> like 30 years old, just like looking around and be like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Am I 30? Do I act 30? Do I act 25? Like, where am I? Because oh. I feel like vibe wise, uh, Luna. <laughs> vibe wise I've been in my mid 30s for half a decade hmm but like you're, lifestyle you're a party wise animal yeah I am or I'm not you were I still kind of am we eh, went to eh. three parties in 24 hours this weekend oh yeah I guess you're right I don't consider that party animal behavior though I think I think of clubbing as I'm like going out until four in the morning getting drunk as, oh, as I'll like do party. that every once in a while right yeah. but no I don't know I feel like maybe you did that more I don't know. Well, we all went to college. I did that more when I was single. Uh huh. Because I had nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging out with heathens <laughs> before good old righteous Carmen what brought the me hell? back down what to earth. What did I do? Good old religious Go out. Carmen. I don't care. Get out of here. Giving me. Oh my God. Just making sure I live Praise life the right to way. Jesus. <laughs> he doesn't mean what he says. <laughs> He, she saved me from the <laughs> wicked ways of the devil in his Get house of yes here. nightclubs. Oh my God. House More of like yes. house of no is the right way. I love house of yes. I tried to go after the I pandemic though. I have never though. been there. Really? Nope. 
I feel like you never loved it. it. Yeah. yeah, I tried to go after the pandemic and everyone was dressing ironically in 90s clothes and I was in 90s clothes because I'm from the 90s and they were like <laughs> children in 90s and it was like 16 plus or something and I was like, actually, yeah. and I just turned around you and I was gonna like, go to, I'm going to go home. All right. I'm going to go to bed. Underage club nights are one of maybe the most know. horrifying. They're horrible. Like, uh, I, I Maybe get it was it. 21 plus, but they looked like literal <laughs> children to me. <laughs> okay, well, that's the other thing. I'm completely losing the ability to tell people's ages mm-hmm. uh, that are younger than me. Like, if you're under 25, you could be 14. Yeah, could be I, don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> completely lost that ability. Mm-hmm. It's probably for the best, actually. <laughs> so that you can be a pedophile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Got to line up the next wife after you die of old age. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I had a transition and everything. I was going to say, <laughs> speaking of pedophilia. Oh, my God. I, I This news story is true. I didn't. I thought it was fake. But there's a Louisiana man. He was convicted of raping a teenage girl. Oh. He will be physically castrated as part of his sentencing, oh. which includes a 50-year stint in prison. Which, so, if you're in wait, prison, wait, 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 wait. you don't really. Do they cut his nuts off before or after prison? Before, like they, wow. he's like on an operating table. Like, one of the pictures. Get in there. Yeah, that's it. This, Jesus Christ, I love this. Louisiana wow. doesn't get a ton of things right, but wow, finally, I, that's like very conservative of you. This is crazy of Louisiana to actually... This is like old-timey actually... justice. Yes, I justice. believe in that kind of justice. Yeah. I believe if you rape a 14-year-old girl, mm-hmm. you should absolutely have your balls removed. You can't okay. be trusted with them. Yeah. And the world would be better because, I mean, I think that person well, will also behave better. because they're losing dick? Probably, oh, I assumed balls because that's where all the testosterone is, 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 and that will make him behave better. Is that where testosterone comes from? Yeah, it's all cooking in there. Part of a little... I a don't little, know. A little sludge... Huh. Look at it. Well, I know that's where the sperm is, but like all that. Because uh, if he has what? his balls, but he doesn't have his penis, he can still be like a true monster. I mean, in prison, what? he's not going to. No, because women have testosterone and they don't have balls of the so? body. We have we have something that resembles. We have this. Old we have we have um, whatever we have gonads. I don't know. We have something. <laughs> gonads are just another name for balls. We have those. Oh. We have all the same parts. They just came out mm. different. That's what people don't realize. The penis is just a clit. Just a big old clit. Hmm. Ooh, I bet they're going to make her have the f- child, though. Oh, you're right. That's the ovaries that uh, create testosterone oh, for you. <laughs> are the ovaries the equivalent of, shit of the balls? No. Yes? Yeah, maybe. I think so. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, they look like it. Yeah. Just cooking it up. So we were all there. women before we were men. Exactly. In that way, we're all trans. <laughs> all the men, at least. Agree. Yeah. Agree. So he's castrated. Yes. What are the details of this? Like, was it like one of those horrible, like, like he, like, I don't even want to say it on the podcast because it's not fun. Was it one of those Wait, like really he... horrible uh, rapes where it was just like, Jesus fucking Christ? Or was it like, like, what is, what was the situation? She's 14. I think that. I mean, yes, yeah. that's objectively horrible, but like. <laughs> I don't think she was like into you know. it. <laughs> uh, no, I wasn't saying she was into it. <laughs> no, I know. It was one of the bad ones, I think. Uh, but I think he, they had to get his consent. Which is crazy. It says chemical castration involves the administration of hormonal drugs that reduce a person's libido and sexual urges. The law also allows offenders mm. to undergo physical or sur- surgical castration if they give their voluntary consent. Wow. Maybe he, he might have he like a lot of guilt about it. <clears throat> I doubt it. I don't know. I mean, he should be locked away either way. Mm-hmm. He shouldn't be able to be like, I'm so sorry. Put me back in society. <laughs> yeah, he's he's being put away in a men's prison, so I don't really know how. It's so funny that he would like, even use it. Uh, you should use this on like people who they let back out. Yeah. Which is everyone. Mm. Yeah. Right. Process those rape kits, baby. It is funny that like liberals are like, no, we want less people in jail, but really, it's like, no, we want different people in jail. Yeah, I want the violent offenders in a, in a better jail system that works towards, yeah, chemically cha- altering their hormones so that they don't rape people and also gives them some sort of therapy to hopefully get them to a place where they can feel empathy. 
<laughs> You're like, I want them to cut their nuts off and I want them to start talk therapy so they're more in touch with their feelings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a good just juxtaposition. The <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, that's a bit of a slippery slope. So you make that one legal and then all of a sudden you get like someone who's really horrible in, uh, in prison and it's the slippery slope argument. Or not, so, not in prison. You get someone really horrible in charge, and they're like, "See, these laws let me cut off all the nuts of every man who whistled at a lady." And then it's just oh, like everyone's walking happen. around Stop with their it. nuts off. Oh That's what gosh. I said. It's Stop a slippery it. slope it's, argument. It's li- I literally. Do said, you believe in it? No, I don't okay, believe good. in it. That's why I framed it as like this is a slippery slope <laughs> argument, which doesn't actually mean anything, but it would be kind of funny. That's like, what are we gonna marry raccoons next? It's yeah. Like, Probably. <laughs> I don't know. They're very love, fluffy. Like a big fat raccoon. Mm-hmm. You want to have like a... At least make me like a domesticated, a domestic partnership with a raccoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that should be illegal. Yeah. Or it should be legal. But you're not allowed to, to, to fornicate with a raccoon. No. No. I it's just, it has I to be just emotional. Oh, no. I want to protect these animals. Oh, boy. Um, is she here? No. No. My boss is texting me. Oh, no. Corey, you're fired. She texted me, too. <gasps> I know. I said, Corey, your podcast is not good enough. You're done. Just cut your balls off and go to prison. Um, no, it's fine. It's end of quarter, which you It's famous. always the it's end always of quarter, end of quarter. And it's never a time that makes sense for quarters. <laughs> This is my one beef with your company. I love what it does, but I swear to God, every day you're like, it's the last day of the quarter. We got to get our numbers in. The spreadsheets, they're not done. We still need to do... Salesforce QR codes up by 10.3% over 9. I don't... I feel like you're making everything up to mess with me. Uh-huh. There's no job. I secretly... You just sit at the computer and go, tack, fund. tack, 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 tack. Yeah. <laughs> you just pull up weird mm-hmm. graphs and stuff. I, sh- I showed like, you. I, I got a call right now. I showed now. you what I do. It made no sense. You were like, aha, yes, a little uh, thermometer thing. Yes. <laughs> it says it's in the yellow. That's not great. <laughs> I'm like, nope, it's not. Yeah, uh, I think I could do your job is what I learned. Oh, I would pay to see that, actually. <laughs> I think that'd be so much fun. Ooh, Courtney's here. Um, well, you know, I don't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> no, me neither. So I'd rather get more time with Courtney. Let's do it. Um, short break. We'll be back with uh, our special guest. <laughs> So Corey fully is trying to get me canceled. Uh-huh. <laughs> Two seconds in Welcome, that and bosses. Courtney McGinnis, this will be the last thing you do. That's fine. I mean, I'm not that successful as it is, so fuck it. Let's just go out in flames, bitch. Thanks for having me. I'm yeah. going to be honest. You gave me no premise. I have no idea nope. what I'm doing for. Nothing. I was hoping you made me a drink, so I was like, are they going to fuck me? Like, What's mm-hmm. I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. It's fine. So we got the camera mm-hmm. set up. I look yeah. good. I put a lot of bronzer on. There you so. <laughs> How you guys doing? <laughs> you just take thank over the podcast. Yeah, thank you for having yeah, us yeah, on. Thanks for doing that's that. That's actually not a bad idea. We'll we should make people. Ooh, that's like a fun podcast. The other what? person has to host it. Oh, oh my god, baby! Yeah. All right. That so, what do you guys fun. fight about Ooh, most? Sure. What do we think? Well, funny um, you bring it up. <laughs> actually, yeah, <laughs> we were going to talk to you about really? that. Yeah. Really? Okay, because great. your your husband, yep. uh, so Casey, yeah, I love him. horribly annoying, <laughs> um, just kind of the worst in every way. Yeah, no, but super hot. What are you gonna do? I know. <laughs> um, yeah, we wouldn't fuck you without Casey right, here. No, of <laughs> just, just be rude. But he used to be in the corner, kind <laughs> yeah, of grumbling. He's watch. And he does really good commentary, though. You should, you should watch TV with him. He's amazing. <laughs> super funny <laughs> okay all right well his special which um you killed it mm-hmm. thank hosting. you i was a great night it was yeah. a good night yes it's gonna be a great special mm-hmm. i'm very happy for my man mm-hmm. the thing is that's and what i'm saying he's so annoying he really <laughs> pisses me off but he's hot and funny so here i am still married 
<laughs> he's so funny and i love yeah it's great i was at we just uh we were like a couple months into dating when he did his first album and so now like we've, we like had a whole dating life and marriage and now it's the okay. second it was like a wow. nice um i was like wow this is really a moment we're having you know oh nice. yeah it's very sweet came full circle yeah. and you're recording your first album <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing it up. The only reason I agreed to come on any podcast is for promotion. I am recording it May 27th. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, hopefully it'll be out in the fall. So, I'll, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll come mm-hmm. back. Thanks. Hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'll come Amazing. back on the pod. May 27th anyway. at TVI. TVI, baby. It's right by my house, dude. Ah! I shouldn't say Ridgewood that on the podcast. Bush, Rick. <laughs> my, my address is... Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm yeah. very excited. You and you did your. I mean, do yeah. you feel like some sense of accomplishment after it? You can just shut down for a little bit, babe. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel. Yeah, it feels good it's to good. be done because that was your first, right? Yes. See, we've done comedy yeah. for well over a decade. Years, yeah, thirteen years as well this yeah. summer. Yep. And it's like I don't know to have some sort of bow on mm-hmm. like because I feel like I'm still doing this is the way I look and this is what my family's <laughs> like and it's like I don't know I want some sort of like all right. What's the next chapter of yeah. my comedy or whatever? Anyways, yeah, yeah, but I'm excited that. about it. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, I'll be at the recording. It'll be great. I'm excited. Ah! Okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> now that you hens are doing clucking, no, I'm kidding. I know uh, everyone's the, like, women do comedy. What the fuck? The worst part about this podcast is I have to have Carmen on it. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wee, she's so pretty. <laughs> Casey sparked a huge debate between me and Carmen, which we oh. which we fought about on the podcast since, and we need you to weigh in. Oh, I'm so I just got chills about love languages. Oh, because go ahead. he's got a very good bit great, about it. Great bit. Everybody and, loves the bit. And Carmen saw him on the train and said, "I feel like Corey's love language is just me suffering." <laughs> So I get that. I, I, I would into like Casey some defense. So drunk on the I, train. I would like some defense. And Carmen can provide context, okay. but I know you're on my side. So I was like, we're talking about this. Okay, wait, you were so drunk, or he was so, he drunk? Was so okay, drunk? Okay, yep, that sounds about right. I was waiting for the L, and just I heard somebody drop a cup of ice, and I turned with the exact expression of "What is this bullshit?" And it's Casey. <laughs> God, he's so, again so annoying. Like he's always like drunk. He always like comes home. He's like, I'm not drunk. He, he does a bit about it too, where he's like, I'm home, like I'm not drunk, and I'm like, you have one eye open. Like, what are you talking about? Oh my god. Um, yeah, it's always fun to see him in the wild. Mm-hmm. I've watched him like walk across the, the wild street. It's like, it's, it's like how do you? It's like you're catching him? Pokemon. <laughs> As a big Pokemon. Um, <laughs> Uh, yes, I I think they're I okay. I think acts of service. Okay, the whole bit is we should explain this to the mm-hmm. listeners. The whole bit is he says because my love language is acts of service, and he that same, that's same right? Yes. Okay, uh-huh. I'm gonna tell you why, bitch. Carmen, <laughs> I was gonna say. Ca- I, want, I want Casey on the podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> I need to book him now <laughs> because I handle so much of our life. Clearly, mm-hmm. the man can't even hold a cup of ice. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> I I handle for, for every, finances, trips, anything, comedy shit. Like I am the only organized one. Oh no, Carmen! <laughs> I'm the only one who does the podcast shit, Carmen. Uh, <laughs> she's twisting Carmen around a hair. Carmen, put the ring light up. Carmen, I'm, that was I'm very proud of you, baby. Very Thank good. You. That what a nice act of so service. Good. <laughs> I know. Corey's hard right now. <laughs> No, it's just left my body and is now on the outside. But I'm like, anytime he like does, so Casey's new thing, he's, you know, the men's clearly has ADHD. You're friends with him. So he's been channeling it into positive things sure. through, through therapy. Mm-hmm. So like sometimes, he'll, yeah, sure, he'll stay up till four o'clock in the fucking morning and sleep till noon. And no, that doesn't annoy me, Carmen. <laughs> Because I'm up at fucking 7.15. Tip, tap, tape it away on my allegedly imaginary job. It (laughs) looks fake uh, from a distance. Put the QR sales force in here and then bam, here's $100,000. And that's how Carmen thinks my day-to-day works. That's what Casey does. Casey will text me. He'll be like... 
text me the the dumbest. Did you know that Richard Dreyfus? This was his first movie, and I'm like, I have been meetings from 8 a.m. all day long. He's like, did you see my text? Like, this is pointless. But like, if I wake Carmen up, doesn't do that. For the record, okay, Carmen is beautiful. very good about not letting me not Let's text her back tally. during the keep day. Tally. Yeah. Tally. Carmen, Carmen Casey. Casey. <laughs> Do I want points or do I not want points? That's a good question. Uh, I think, I think you, need you to want do... points. You might want to yeah. do some inner work I got on one that. over on Casey. One, so one over on Casey. Well, this is what Casey does. I think he's going to get a point for this. He'll smoke weed in the middle of the night. <laughs> and instead of, like, I don't know, beating off or whatever the fuck he did before, he'll clean the apartment. And he'll use oh. his, like, OCD shit that annoys me to actually, like, do good. And so I'll wake up. Whole apartment spotless. Wow. wow. Okay, Look at right Casey. There, right? It doesn't wake you up. You're not like woken up by the vacuum at five in the morning. Listen. Him going like, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot it was so early. <laughs> One thing about me is I'm a dead sleeper. And okay. it's because I've never done anything wrong in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> so I sleep soundly, bitch. <laughs> But yeah, he oh my god, oh my god, he just it's great. It's the best. And so I'm like, that takes something off my plate. Mm -hmm. So then I want to kill you less when I have to, mm -hmm. you know, do everything else. Oh, I have know? had this thought. Thank Christ I'm a good sleeper. Yeah. Because yeah, if yeah. I was getting four hours of sleep and you weren't doing acts of service, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think we would have gotten so, this far. Okay, question. But I'm a good sleeper. Uh-huh. And I have patience. <laughs> and I love you. Oh, Oh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Ugh, not on the podcast. <laughs> Get out of here. What We're not at the you physical stay part up of our late? What do you do when you stay up late? I stay up later. Um, I read that book over there that Corey got me to it's distract the Bible. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Is Bible. Is that art of the deal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're a reader? That seems positive at least. Well, yeah. Okay. The context for Carmen is she can fall asleep whenever, Same. but if she falls asleep mm -hmm. too early, she will wake up in the middle of the night and then spiral for three hours. Mm -hmm. So she'll three either more. stay up late and then sleep super late, or she'll go to bed early, wake up in the middle of the night, and then sleep super late. So it seems like you've got it all figured out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. But she doesn't wake me up. She's very generous. Yeah, why would I wake you? Woke me up with a fart the other night. I did. Oh, really? Can you? Yeah. It was a good one. That's it. it. Like, really? That's the one. Got Corey on here. Corey. Give like, Corey one. I thought she was still awake, <laughs> and it would be like this. <laughs> like she would laugh like Beavis and Butthead. Casey, and, see, this uh, is you're a man and I'm a woman. So Casey uh -huh. said I farted in my sleep, and then I'd be like, really? And then I'd be like, ah, oh, nah, just kidding. And I'm like, that's sweet, because clearly I did. But he's like, nah, I was just messing around. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Carmen's you, been letting him rip lately. You, you guys are like, nice, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we yeah. don't. Casey doesn't fart. Casey doesn't fart. Like in front of you or in general? In Definitely in front of me. Because if he feels like he has to, he goes to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> he has diarrhea so Oh, much. I was going to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this isn't like a courtesy thing. This, this is, is like, like a, a, I don't want to shit my pants thing. Yeah. Got it. And he gets mad at me because I recently shit my pants. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for asking. And uh, he was like on me and he Another was like, see, yeah, put one for me. Thank you. And he was saying that like, oh, well, I like, I, at least I'm not shitting my pants. And I'm like, you spend a minimum one hour on the toilet a day. So I don't know what's better. <laughs> he is a bit Once about shitting every his five pants. years I shit my pants or I sit an hour on the toilet every day. What's worse? I'm genuinely asking. What do you think's worse? One bathroom. Obviously, I'd rather I spend shit a lot my of pants time on the so. toilet. So Let's I think I'm, I think I'm going man. with casey there but the to the bathroom is my refuge that's where i can go and just like just be a man close it out just close the door watch some tiktoks say and, all the racial slurs you want just, <laughs> just look in the mirror and say whatever say I couldn't, whatever, comes whatever to mind. Comes to mind. summon some sort of evil force uh -huh. it's fucked up. Mm -hmm. yeah what is your do you have a love language carmen or you think it's fake? quality time the same as casey a very good one so i think quality his time is, is, is high for me too his yeah, is mine is, I was yeah. words and and like a touch or yeah, whatever are right yeah. there next to it though quality time i think is just important if you're gonna maintain a relationship because yeah. a lot of times mm -hmm. casey and i'll be like why can't we stop fighting and then we'll go to one movie together together and be fine for like three weeks you know what i mean it's like i don't know you know us we're just really really 
crazy successful comedians. Mm-hmm. And so it's just yeah. go, go, go. You yeah. know, workaholic it all really the time. Is. We're out. We're hustling. It's like us and Doja Cat. That's just it. Can. Those are the big, the big <laughs> four. <laughs> it took me a while to count. But. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you get wrapped up in your life and mm-hmm. you're doing things. You got to make time for each other. That's so important. Mm-hmm. Well, here's my theory True. on acts of service because I think you're similar to me. Mm-hmm. I like to keep a very busy schedule. Mm-hmm. I like to, like, I'm always to run working from on your feelings. something. I can't feel anything. <laughs> Midwestern <laughs> <bus. laughs> I, yeah, I like to, but a lot of times I will over schedule myself mm-hmm. because I don't want to under schedule myself yeah. because that's when the thoughts creep in. Sure. 100% so if I'm with you, over scheduled, so what happens, why I like acts of service is that I have overscheduled myself mm-hmm. and then the the person I'm with, my partner, Carmen, mm-hmm. have you met her? Hey, this Courtney, nice very to cute. see you. Carmen. Very cute. <laughs> when she does something to help me, I'm like, yes, thank you. That is what I needed. Yeah. I am I am underwater. Yeah. But then the opposite of that is like when you're giving me more work to do, that's when I'm like, fucking Christ. Yeah. That's, I'm with you 100 I don't, That's percent. how I also don't understand how people have kids because all they do is just give you more work to do. Work. Yeah, that is true. But they're so cute. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> give me. <laughs> I'm more concerned about what it's going to do to my amazing body, but um, mm. sure. Yes, they are a lot of work. I, I, I'm with you. Uh-huh. That's what I do. I mean, I came, I worked, I came to this pod, yeah. I, and I have two shows. You know, yeah. I'm like, I, I, I get it. But I also, I'm like, yes, the thoughts thing, but also I, I don't, I'm not successful. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, I just got to do whatever until something <laughs> sticks. So I'll just say yes to anything too. But I know that's my own mental problems as yeah. well. Cause I do a lot of bad shows. What? <laughs> well, I spread myself out. I feel yeah. like if I spent all of my time on comedy, I'd be further than I am. What else do you do? My day job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I hate that. Right. Yeah. But you're successful yeah, yeah. as your day job. I mean, duh. Yeah, I mean, success- look at this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a boss. I'm successful at my day job. If yeah. I spent all that time and effort at the day job on comedy, I should be at least marginally better. Sure, sure, I mean, sure. you've seen my set, so feel free to disagree. Really like- bad. No. <laughs> you're great. You're great. You're Come see my it. shows. You're great. No, but I, you know, there's uh, no other op. Option, right? Yeah. Because it's also like the other thing, which you and Casey have both done, is like hustle and piece other stuff together. And that's its own stress, too, right? Doesn't seem to bother you at all, but. <laughs> I think Carmen and Life Casey are good hard. with yeah. the bounce around. Like, oh, well, I'll spend three months over here yeah. and like I'll live on the floor of this apartment over here. And like, I'm too neurotic to do that. I haven't lived in the same place the whole time. You oh. have. Does it that's have cockroaches? Con? Yes, and then no, and now we, yes. they have, we have them again. But <laughs> but I have a roommate who kills them. He's happy to do it. Oh, that's oh, so kind. He's not happy to do it, but like he job, grew Smitty. up having to kill them. Sounds like an act of service, if mm-hmm. you ask me. That's, that's what Carmen likes secretly. She doesn't like to admit it. <laughs> no, the worst. Service. The worst thing she said was, "No, I don't like. I don't. Uh, I don't feel anything when you do an act of service for me." I was like, "Well, <laughs> that's how I show my love." So I guess oh. you don't appreciate anything I'm doing over here. <laughs> really? I do. I just not like oh love when you like yeah yeah you're yeah. not getting make wet. you breakfast every morning. Oh my god, so you do nice. that? What the fuck? I work from yeah. home, so oh, I'm just oh, making nice. myself breakfast. Yeah, so, okay. Right, well, I'll throw when an you, extra toast when you put it that way, that's not getting me horny. Either, <laughs> I gotta right? keep a reputation up for the boys. <laughs> no, he makes me eggs, oh. and I put peanut butter on the toast. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna say you put peanut butter on the eggs. No, well, that sounds about bad. That'd be wild. Really? I put mustard on eggs. Really? It's Isn't that weird? That's, it's that's actually not Midwest, bad. That's some Midwest It's Midwest. Stuff, yeah. Well, like you've had egg salad. There's always mustard in it. Uh, you right. You right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not you like mad an egg sandwich, an egg salad. there's mustard on it. And everyone's Listen. like, ooh, what the Listen, fuck? I'm not acting like I'm not a white person. <laughs> I don't put cream on anything. <laughs> Casey's family, when we started dating, they put cottage cheese and spaghetti. And I was like, what Wait, the fuck? Oh, we put it in lasagna. Yes. Yeah. But it's fucking good, bitch. It is fucking it's good. good. I was like, that is nasty. You didn't nasty. put cottage cheese in your lasagna? It's oh, ricotta. No, well, it's ricotta. I put ricotta. I'm not oh. that fucking white trash. No, I'm white trash. Yeah, you know, I can yeah. tell. I can Single tell. dad house. We're using cottage cheese. <laughs> did you guys, wait, did you guys have cottage cheese, applesauce, and cinnamon? Yes. We didn't <sighs> have cinnamon. Okay. 
No? You no. did cottage cheese and applesauce? No. I've been asking people, and like nobody knows what I'm talking about. Like cottage cheese on salad. That's pretty that good. No. I have heard that. I've never done that. It's always at a salad bar. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. doing this as a bit now, but like I didn't realize that not all salads had cheese on them until I moved here. <laughs> <laughs> so... Old, it's like a real culture old shock. Old cheese moment. salad <laughs> over here. I was like, yeah, it's a salad. Of course it has cheese on it. Do you want salad? No, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't. <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. Ooh, I'm going to steal that line. Thank oh, you. You should. Um, Courtney needs to draw a horse. Yes, you need to. We have a, a thing on our podcast where okay. we make our guests draw a horse from memory. From memory. Oh, bitch. Okay, well, why don't I draw the fucking Renaissance horse <laughs> right now? <laughs> Crush you little fuckers. We've seen very different. Uh, Approaches. Approaches to this. Almost all of them include a penis. <laughs> oh, it's mine's getting a big, really hog. A big, big hog. Big hog. <laughs> okay, this is. I'm very good wow. at drawing people. Whoa! But I went to art. I could just school. tell that's a good Whoa. horse. Mm-hmm. Oh, went you went to art. art. Oh yeah, we oh, invited an artist on the podcast. Wow. We should have had her do a math problem or something. (laughs) (laughs) I couldn't even count how many people were here. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, you're going to need to put this. Holy shit, what a good horse. It's got the bent hoof and everything. I'm going to need to frame this. You're going to put this on the fridge, I'll tell you that. There's this. And then she's got a side part. Oh my gosh. What about like a little fucking thing, you know? You're putting a saddle on the horse? A fucking saddle and it's got the little fucking, you know. Oh my God. Should I put Beyonce? on it. <laughs> Future Renaissance. Have you guys listened to Cowboy Carter? Are you homophobic? I yes. Have. <laughs> Are you homophobic? What is that energy? I will yeah, storm. I have. I'll storm out I of this have. apartment right <laughs> fucking now. You don't Carmen think it's good? Me. You don't think it's no. good? Okay. He doesn't think Beyonce's Wait, perfect. Hold on. White hold on. Man should do country on, on that set. Here we fucking go. No, no, Unbelievable. No, no. I'm fucking believable. The album? I'll kill you. Was fine. <laughs> fine. It was fine. It what was fine. Kind of, oh my god. He's okay. like, I really like Imagine Dragons. Fuck you. Can I put some fucking? I mean, Imagine Fuck Dragons you. is no Nickelback, but let me put some <laughs> I nuance hate you. I hate you. onto this. As an album, let me guess. You invented country. As an album, <laughs> huge cock. Even the penis is like not... accurate to a horse's <laughs> penis. <laughs> wow. Go. I'm gonna sign it. You should, yes, please. You have to. Um. As an album, I was just like, it just seems like a bunch of singles just put together. But I'm also like music um, douche. Like I went to college for it. Do you the transitions? I, yeah, there was a couple. But like what a lot of covers, fuck? a lot of the songs were good. So that's what I should have started with. A lot of the songs were good. I like the songs. However, just seemed a little disingenuous. Like Beyonce talking about like, oh, I'm going to go out to the back and get my gun. I was like, you don't have a fucking Gun. First of all, you should leave him. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with that. I should have started with that. Okay. Also, this bitch is from Houston, Texas. Maybe she doesn't have a gun, but her security's got a gun. She can oh, get a fucking gun. Please. I bet Beyonce also, has she, a gun. A lot of the songs are about her family too. Yeah, she wrote songs from the fine. perspective of her family. She's not queer, but she made Renaissance. And also, how do you feel about the fact that now, like, the most black artists are on the top country streaming songs, not That's just awesome. from Cowboy Don't Carter? Make this a race. But thing. also, but it is a race <laughs> it's thing. It's not that's a race whole, thing. What are you talking about? That's the whole reason totally, she made. That's no, no, the no, whole no. reason she made the thing. She went to the CMAs because she made a country song mm-hmm. on the masterpiece that is Lemonade. Let me guess, you thought it was fine. Grow up. <laughs> I and didn't listen to that. She, one. Lemonade's so good. Lemonade is unbelievable. She made Daddy Lessons. She performed at the CMAs. It. She had a horrible time. They wouldn't put it on the country charts. You know, she's this bitch does her research. She's a Virgo. And so she was like, <laughs> realized how many. It happened with Lil Nas X, too, where they yeah. took mm-hmm. it off, you know, country radio. She had a horrible mm. time at the CMAs. They put the video up. All the comments were so racist that they had to take the video down. Alan Jackson, like, stormed out of the CMA. There was, like, a bunch oh of, like, God. racist All the way to the pe- Capitol. <laughs> 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 Period. Okay. And so then she was like, wow, this was a horrible experience. Uh-huh. And so in the pandemic, she sort of reflected on all the things that were starting by black people and now taken over and seen yeah. as objectively yeah. white right. and yeah. that is where Cowboy Carter came from yeah. the Carter family who that's why she named it Cowboy Carter is because that 
they stole the music, the style of playing, everything from a black person. Yeah. So that's why she made it. So it does have a lot to do with race. She's making a point. She's ma- being like, all right, anybody can make any kind of music. And she yes. said it's not a country album. It's a Beyonce album. And bitch, it's an unbelievable Beyonce album that I can't stop streaming. But now all these black artists are on, on the hot country 100. I think it's incredible what she does. She just did it like no fucking problem. Just like all these queer artists around Renaissance and are now have streaming numbers, streaming money. I have visibility to billions of people. So what what the fuck do I know? Point for Courtney. Uh, you're gonna need to give me at least two points. Give me a limit, at least two for that. Five points for Courtney. Like to clarify. I hate as all black racists people. too. <laughs> no, I appreciate the album and like everything you said and every and where it came from oh. and the history of it and like what happened to Lil Nas <laughs> Lil Nas X. Uh, happened to him is just as fucked up as any of that any of that stuff that's happening to Beyonce now mm-hmm. I just mean the music of it is not sure. my favorite you but have everything that, that's and fine. right and that's, that's all okay. I'm saying yeah <laughs> I'm allowed okay. to have bad taste <laughs> but no I, it's one of those where like I appreciate that this was made but it's just not for me and you know I feel the same way about a lot of music like, like who do you hate I don't hate anyone Okay, I'm gonna start bringing up comics. <laughs> and all right, hold on. I There's like three them. of those, and they're all black. And... Well, I, you know, I didn't mean to steer the direction this way in order to plug my own. No, podcast. you're hosting. But this, <laughs> I was gonna say, this, this is your podcast. <laughs> this, is podcast. this is what Casey and I talk about on our podcast because mm-hmm. Casey has is a white man. You call him racist too. <laughs> okay, bitch. <laughs> okay, you already know. That man is from the mountains, okay? <laughs> but like, we, he has, ho- I mean, to me, he has horrible taste in music. You'd probably love his fucking music. He lo- loves like the Doobie Brothers. I, I, I agree with no, everything you've I've, I've seen. Because you have taste. Because <laughs> you're stunning. I want to do Paris Hilton. <laughs> I know, I saw but, that. Like, I, like, I like yes. fun, hot girl music and he's so annoying. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> I agree with you more than really? I agree with Casey. Yeah. But not Beyonce interesting just not on Beyonce but I I'm big fan of Doja Cat I think she's great you think Doja's you think Doja Cat's great and Beyonce is fine that's wild I think the music for my taste is I would never say Beyonce's a worse artist than Doja Cat I mean look at the records you know right yeah (laughs) but I'm like just in terms of what I enjoy (laughs) you know like yeah you don't like R&B no I do but Okay. Corey takes me to EDM concerts. Whoa! That's all you had to say. That's all you had to say. Did you like Renaissance? Not since you almost passed out at one. Wait, what is that? <laughs> oh, don't give me... <laughs> no. Don't give me... <laughs> don't give me candy. I'll tell you the whole don't story later. Don't give me later. candy. <laughs> Sugar Rush. Uh. And Crash. I get it. I'm cool. Uh. <laughs> Did you listen to Renaissance? That's that's a, yeah. le- a lot of electronic yeah. music. Right. I was like, yeah. I I like I the thing I like the least is when like artists just make the same bullshit over and over yeah. and over again. So I'm like, yeah, good for you. Branch out. Yeah. I like, you know. When were you born? You're not going to like this. Oh god. Yeah. No, don't say it. Yeah. My On 30th 9/11. birthday is <laughs> <laughs> My 30th birthday is Thursday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You, you don't young. mean that. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, How does it feel to know Carmen's a pedophile? <laughs> Honestly, I knew it the whole time. <laughs> the moment she I met her. Him cute. I had an open mic. Suspected. I said, something about her. I really relate to. <laughs> and I'm on stage being like, I like little boys. <laughs> You're like... Something something's up. I don't know what it is though. What do you think, Carmen? What do you think you noticed the most about him being way younger? Aww. Oh, just a cute little baby. I'm full of hope. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> actually, it is a lot no of wrinkles. Like, hope and, and like yeah, joy, positivity. positivity. Yeah, just yeah. ask people at the He's comedy seller for a recommendation. <laughs> We're like, that's cute. <laughs> You're going to need to blow someone. <laughs> so that's my recommendation. Uh, oh, yeah, what else? how to go down on Esty. <laughs> Can't be that hard. <laughs> I don't know. Probably a lot of, a lot of lip. 
I'm I'll never getting both there. This one. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you ever bring up references? And he doesn't know what you're talking about. Um, actually, he gets a lot more than I I thought that he He's would. A very smart. No, no, boy. no. We talk like you aren't here now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're, were your parents not around? Raised by TV? No, I was raised by my dad. But I was a uh, fucking. I was the weirdo kid that was like, I don't want to hang out with the other kids. I want to sit with the adults and just hear what they're talking about. Wow. Can't you see that? I can totally yeah. see that. You're yeah. kind of doing that right now. Yeah. <laughs> See what these old broads were talking about. Any good information for me? I think we're pretty cool. <laughs> Let me tell you about the future, Sonny Boy. <laughs> Let me tell you about Soon, everything will George start to hurt. Bush Senior. <laughs> exactly. That I don't know. But I remember 9-11, which is kind okay, of the cutoff. Good. Yes, yeah. because I will say I work with a girl and she was like, well, I was a, I was an infant on 9-11. And I was like, what did you just say? Also, another girl I work with said, when my mom was pregnant with me, she always listened to the Backstreet Boys. And I was like, I'm going to melt into the floor right now. What? Also, the most one that really shook me, because I thought this was just universal. It did happen where I'm from, but I thought this was like universal, is Tom and I, my co-host in my weekly show, we said, um, us had great riff about Lorena Bobbitt. And dead silent. <gasps> These twenty-year-olds didn't know what Lorena Bobbitt was. I'm like, I got nothing. Whoa! She, she, what, right? <laughs> that is like the big. That was the Whoa. biggest news story of the '90s to me, besides OJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And he, she cut her husband's dick off, and she oh, this comes so full okay. circle. She yeah. threw <laughs> it. Bad with names. She threw it out her car window, <laughs> and where it landed across the street from where I got my nails done for prom. Oh, <laughs> yeah, beautiful. That's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. And this. This is how long ago it happened. None of the officers wanted to pick it up because they thought it was gay. <laughs> that wild. But I'm like, that's an unbelievable story. I mean, it's very sad, but it's like, uh, it's like to me, that was every punchline of every late yes. night show. Yeah. Like, like my whole life, it felt like. And yeah. People are like, became like a verb. Yeah. It was like a meme before a meme. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. I know Lorena know? Bob at you. The Anyways, were a wild time. <laughs> Call All me right, before. we can talk about there. it. I'm pretty open. Hey, he ended up getting it reattached in a bunch of porn. Oh, so that, that could be you. Oh, yeah, your plan. there we go. If Carmen cut my dick off, would anyone be surprised in the comedy scene? No, no. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm oh, sorry to guys. say that. No, Come on, not even. Very Should we do Thank a you. couple three, two, ones before you got a skedaddle? Oh, sure. We have a game. It's best for people with intrusive thoughts. <laughs> I hate this game. It makes me very uncomfortable. Really? Corey hates it. Uh -huh. Why? You don't like to riff off I the like cuff? To, uh, you like to, you're a planner. I am a planner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Respect. I and this is like it. top of the head. Oh, you don't it. have time to think. Okay, I love it's that. It's basically mm -hmm. improv. Okay. It's basically I ask you something in a three, two, one, you have to answer. Okay. So it's real quick. Okay. Uh, let's see. You can only drink one liquid for the rest of your life that's not water. Three, two, one. Whiskey. Jesus. So you second guessed it. Yeah. You did what I yeah. do. You That's almost said damn vodka. And then I you almost said, did say you vodka. You do well, what I'm I literally do. Drinking That's what vodka. we do. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'm drinking vodka. All right. Now you get it. Now you get what I'm talking okay, about. I get it. It's also, hard the question to do. was long, so it does make it harder right, too. Right. Yeah. Very scary. Very yeah. Scary. It's very. Yeah. I feel like I can do this with opinions. But <laughs> one word, I'm like, wait. <laughs> oh, I'm right there with you. This is. Can we do three, two, ones with opinions? Is no, that... a three, two, one, go. No, ah! don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Clearly, I'm well educated on the subject. <laughs> Let the viewers decide. <laughs> From now on, there is a food that makes you come. What is it? Three, two, one. <gasps> Strawberries. Strawberries. There you go. I love Beautiful. a strawberry. They're it's already horny. One. They are you can horny get them at any bodega. Oh you my be, god! You'd be you're coming twenty four seven. Just walking around Ridgewood, yeah. just <laughs> painting the streets. <laughs> my jeans are like, raw, like stiff. Is that raw denim? You could say that. Casey's like, do you keep shitting your pants? Why are these wet? <laughs> what else you got? Oh, so many. But let's see. Um, where did it go? You are going to have a face transplant with one celebrity. Who is it? Three, two, one. Do you have to be faster than that? Faster, faster, faster. I faster. Was my mom. <laughs> Great. We have That's what I wanted. Face. We have the same face. Um, fuck. Nope, Rihanna. Mom. Mom. <laughs> so then my whole body is white. <laughs> I have Rihanna's face. <laughs> 
<laughs> You'd literally be doing blackface. But it doesn't count. Uh, it doesn't count. It's three, two, one. Surgical blackface. That's, that's commitment. Listen, we're covering all the topics. Uh, <laughs> you could do a super cut of all the horrible things. This is things why we didn't want to prep you for this. Yeah. There is no way you to did, prep you for this. You started this by saying you were going to try to get me canceled. So here we go. You said you were going to get yourself canceled. You were like, what comics do you hate? <laughs> never getting booked in this city again <laughs> not in this town i like this one you are in hell who's torturing you for eternity three two one john love it <laughs> <laughs> i love him and i hate him <laughs> you know my favorite scene of any movies in the wedding singer when when he's like he's losing his mind and i'm reaping all the benefits and he <laughs> goes back what a weird fucking thing to keep in it's so funny i think about it every day <laughs> I love when people fail. Yeah. It ma- makes room for me. <laughs> true, true that. <laughs> Sorry. See, I told you. I only ate a salad. I, I have half a drink. And I'm like, I want to ruin someone's life. <laughs> all my way well, to the give top. give you a couple pita chips before you get out of here and soak up the vodka. Wait, I got to host my show. People are going to be like, oh, my God. <laughs> um. You know yeah, I'm... you guys gotta go. You gotta mm-hmm. do. You gotta do shows. I had a show tonight. I got it got canceled because I'm not good enough. And um, <laughs> what show got canceled? The Bowery Electric show. Oh. I was on. I'm on a big bar show. Like I literally the last five of them that I was booked on all got canceled. I'm starting to think oh. that they weren't actually real, but they wanted to get on my show. Oh, So they were like, let me book him and then he'll book me and then I'll be like, ah, sorry. Because your show's very fun. Do- well, don't you. you hate when that happens when people are like, come do my show? Because they think <laughs> it's going to be a tradesy mm-hmm. situation mm-hmm. and their show is a fucking nightmare mm-hmm. and you traveled an hour for it mm-hmm. and you're like, what what is this mm-hmm. what is this That's what half, do we think this is what is this mm-hmm. it's half the reason i live here so it's only like a 20 minute trip yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. for some bullshit That's true. courtney where can people find you you got a special coming out you got a podcast you got yeah. you can you're find, in the streets i'm in the streets, in the streets. you can streets. find me at coming court all McGinnis. over a meat and strawberries <laughs> 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 you can find me at court mcginnis on all social media courtneymcginnis.com if you're Oh, I just burped. Nasty. <laughs> Luna. Um, Luna. Also, yeah, my May 27th. That's the film date. It'll be mm-hmm. out at the end of the fall, or at like end of the summer, fall maybe. And please follow me on everything. I need to be successful or I'm going to mm. kill myself and it'll be your <laughs> fault. Do you kill yourself or Casey first? Hmm. <laughs> Murder, suicide. I'm going to have to think about that one. Because Carmen would kill herself first. I know the answer. I would. To that. I would Aww. I, Act of service. I keep you alive. <laughs> you Actually, I would kill him because if he ever had sex with another person, I would, I would be in heaven. <laughs> Furious. All right. Maybe Carmen would kill me first. Yeah. Now that you bring that up. Yeah. That's a good point. Carmen, where can they find you? Well, our winner was Courtney today. Courtney at the, went the on contest a... where we don't really know what the rules were or anything, the but you run were won by a lot. Beyonce. And, and <laughs> I just look at the rules. Shouldn't have invited me. Beyonce. <laughs> Carmen Legala, at Carmen Legala comedy on YouTube. Carmstagrams on Instagram. You said you're so fast and so good, and I'm trying to keep up with you, and I can't. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm proud, proud of you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, online, the internet, you can find me there. And we bye. You you go at Corey T that Comedy really on all good. social Thanks. media. <laughs> We got uh, my birthday show May 9th at Ferns. You got to come to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Party afterwards. Courtney, are we going to see you there? Duh. Let me put it in my calendar. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I don't know. We're around Washington, D.C., Seattle, Detroit, um, Grizzly Pear, my show, weekly show in the East Village if you're in New York. Just, I don't know. Check the Instagram. It's around. But... I love D.C. That's where I'm from, bitch. Ooh. Mm-hmm. All right, we'll hit you up mm-hmm. for uh We're in the hookups. place that you're from. Yeah. <laughs> you want to stay with my parents? Let's call them. <laughs> we found Lauren Bobbitt. Lorena. Lorraine, damn it. That would have been great if you nailed Fuck. that. That's I okay. know, right? You this should, is why I'll never make so an comedy. Shouldn't have been so young. <laughs> Thank you for being in cahoots, cahoots with us. us.